Good afternoon, Caroline County Public School parents and guardians. I'm Sarah Calvaric, the proud superintendent. I'm here with you today to share three very important messages, so I hope that you will bear with this rather lengthy video and or written message that you are about to read. As we begin to draw the fifth week of the new school year to a close, it's essential to pause and celebrate a number of small and large student and staff successes, such as holding five days a week of in-person instruction, offering select virtual learning module models for grades three through 12, driving our school buses and our cars filled with drivers, free breakfast and lunch for all students, distribution of our K-12 electronic devices, athletics and extracurriculars are up and running. We've prepared care teams for each of our schools consisting of social workers, counselors, school psychologists, and family engagement coordinators. And finally, we are so happy to be nurturing new and old student and staff relationships. While achievements are plentiful, CCPS and school divisions across the nation are simultaneously experiencing an influx of non-academic challenges beyond the sheer issues of COVID-19. To tackle these hurdles, Caroline County Public Schools believes passionately in deliberate communication, heightened awareness, and parental engagement. These are key to positive change. We invite you to continue listening or reading to learn more about a handful of success barriers that have surfaced within our school community and on various social media platforms over the first month of CCPS School. Success barrier one, vaping. Yes, I did say vaping. What is it and how is vaping impacting our CCPS schools? Well, let me give you a, full, a couple of bullet points. Vaping is the inhaling of vapor created by an electronic cigarette or other vaping device. A liquid mix of nicotine, flavorings, and chemicals are heated into a vapor, which the person then inhales. While our code of conduct states the use and or possession of nicotine and vapor products is prohibited, Vaping at the high and middle schools has become a disturbingly common occurrence. So what are we doing about this as a school division? CCPS is mo using morning announcements, adult supervision of hallways and restrooms, and health classes to raise awareness. Students who are caught vaping will complete an online program called Sweet 360, highlighting the dangers around tobacco and vaping products. Additionally, they will experience code of conduct consequences. How can you, as parents and guardians, support our school division efforts to eliminate the substance or drug from our school campus? Talk to your students. Talk to them about the dangers and the consequences of tobacco and vaping products. Educate yourself on the various products and how to identify them by going online and looking up Google Images. We have also attached three links of Quick Facts and partners of Drug Free Kids and talk to your child about vaping documents for your easy access. On to success barrier two, communication on social media, specifically Facebook. How has stakeholder social media behavior impacted our division operations, our students, our employees, and the school community throughout the first month of school? Well, we have a number of ways. We have viewed disrespectful statements made toward our school division, towards our staff, towards parents and community members. We've seen circulation of misinformation and or misunderstandings running rampant on Facebook. We are perpetuating a damaging school division image while we are working so hard to turn the page on past historical images. We are breaking down the proper and informative communication channels that exist within CCPS. And finally, we are providing our children with multiple examples of undesirable modeling of social media usage. So what are we as a school division doing about this? And how will we promote the continued use of professional and informative usage of Facebook? Well, CCPS is committed to using social media to inform, promote, and celebrate successes. Our students participate in annual lessons on being responsible digital citizens. 
And Caroline County Public Schools has been utilizing norms at the beginning of our school board meetings that outline respectful Facebook Live behaviors when posting. However, a recent increase in disparaging and inaccurate posts during meetings and throughout the school season has resulted in CCPS identifying an alternative live streaming product that will begin to be used at the October 12th meeting. Now you, how can you as parents and guardians help CCPS and our school community develop a much more healthy presence on social media in relation to communication? Here are the five tips. Contact your child's school or central office to receive accurate information. Utilize social media to celebrate and to inform rather than to tear down. Join school and division level advisory groups to share concerns and help develop resolutions. As Caroline's promise says, be part of the solution. Evaluate the source of information. For example, is a newly developed Facebook page is the group's intent positive? Are their posts accurate? And finally, utilize the CCPS website and Facebook page as reliable communication resources. Now on to the third and final topic, success barrier three, TikTok devious licks challenge videos. Yes, I did say TikTok devious licks challenge videos. What are these? Devious Licks is a hashtag utilized on TikTok. It captures students vandalizing school restrooms, taking school property, and participating in general destruction of school grounds. The videos are then posted to the hashtag Devious, Devious Licks or other platforms such as Instagram and Facebook. How are these TikTok videos impacting Caroline County Public Schools? We have experienced a significant rise in elementary school, middle school, and high school restroom vandalism, resulting in thousands of dollars of property damage to paper towel holders, toilet paper dispensers, soap dispensers, etc. These behaviors are not only disheartening, but these illegal actions are costly and resulting in diminished COVID mitigation abilities. So what are we as the school division doing to address restroom vandalism? Well, TikTok has been hearing from school divisions across the nation and they have now banned these videos and stopped users from being able to use the associated hashtags. However, they have made their way to other venues. CCPS is educating our students on this trending topic. The code of conduct prohibits vandalism and the school division will investigate any instance of damaged property. School principals are reminding students of appropriate use of facilities and the impact vandalism can have on the availability of restrooms due to the time it takes the custodial staff to make repairs and replenish supplies. How can a parent engage in discussions related to TikTok, vandalism, school pride, and code of conduct guidelines? Well, this is for you. Please, we ask of you to talk to your children. Talk to them about the legal implications, the consequences of choices, and how to confidentially report a behavior that they may have witnessed. Finally, to refresh your memory on what the code of conduct says regarding vandalism, we have included a link that is attached to our ccps.us website for your easy convenience of access. Now is the time to operationalize our hashtag One Caroline approach. Together, we can stomp out vaping in our schools, model productive, kind, and informative online communication, and hold hip-to-hip -hip conversations with our children about the potential dangers and consequences of social media challenges and vandalism. Thank you for accepting our call to action. Have a great evening.